Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about Terraform execution workflow. So let's get into the video. So the workflow that is we are going to see in our upcoming topics, how your Terraform execution goes. First thing we have seen in it, this is initializing your uh, provider information, downloading the plugins. Now in tomorrow we will see next command is after writing your terraform configuration you run plan plan is basically to compare your state okay like your desired state and your current state it's like a dry run in ansible we have plan here apply is to provision your infrastructure to execute those changes and destroy is to delete your infrastructure so this is the flow that we use in it is run only when you have your provider initialized for the first time it will not be run again until you modify your provider information. Okay. After that, you keep on running plan, apply, plan, apply, while you demodify, again, reapply, again, modify, again, reapply. Destroy when you want to destroy your resources. Okay. And in destroy, we have two options. You can destroy the entire infrastructure or also you can destroy the specific resource by, you know, specifying the specific resource type. Let's say you don't want to delete the entire infrastructure, only want to delete a VM, but keep your uh, virtual network, keep your public IPs so that you can use them with another VMs. So you can specify those things also. Okay. Another quick model quiz questions. Uh, multiple configurations for the same provider can be used in a single configuration file. True or false? Multiple configurations for the same provider can be used in a single configuration file. So you have .tf file, you specify all your configurations. So you have multiple configurations exactly. You have your VNet configurations, your RG configurations, your subnet configurations, your NSG configurations. Everything you can put in a single configuration file. But why we have this question is, if you talk about the load order and semantics of Terraform, Terraform says that you should put your configurations in a separate file okay for example if you're running a web server you should put your uh, vm configuration separate your uh, apache or nginx web servers configuration separate database uh, configuration separate so that you know the loading of terraform becomes very faster in that case you know terraform can load it and execute it faster as compared to putting the entire infrastructure in one single configuration that is why we had this question okay so it is possible it's true but it's not recommended you should have small small you know configurations defined so that management troubleshooting and for terraform loading becomes faster another question uh, i told you that terraform plan is basically used to compare your desired state and current state or kind of a dry run so what happens when you run a terraform plan applies the changes creates an execution plan and determine what changes are required to achieve your desired state reconciles the state terraform knows about the real world or the backend is initialized and working directory is prepped a applies the changes no not at all terraform plan will not apply your changes terraform plan i told you will compare your current and desired state and will propose you the changes terraform apply will apply your changes go to the web go back to workflow please see plan will only check for the changes apply will actually provision your changes okay so plan will never apply your changes so correct option is option b and if you're somebody completely new then you don't have to worry because we have got your back we have properly planned our seven week roadmap so that you can excel in your examination. Week one would be about what and why about Terraform. We'll be discussing about Terraform installation and basics in week one as well. Week two would be read, generate and modify the configuration. Week three would consist of provisioners, loops, 
data source and built-in functions along with workflow and state management. Under week fourth, we'll be discussing about modules and workspaces along with Terraform CLI and security in Terraform. Week fifth will be more about Terraform cloud and enterprise capabilities. Week six would be exam registration and some amazing, amazing practice questions. You'll be having five practice tests that will let you check your knowledge. And week seventh would be tips and resources for clearing the exam certification, CV preparation, and the most important part is our own job support. And if you are somebody who is completely new and you want to study the exam content from start to finish, then please check out our free class at k21academy.com forward slash terraform02. Under this free class, we'll be covering a lot of topics like cloud and DevOps overview, cloud automation tools, Terraform, cloud formation, Ansible, Chef, Puppet, infrastructure, automation, IAC, Terraform for beginners, what, why, and who should be learning. Terraform certification, extending Terraform with Ansible, Chef, Puppet, etc. We'll be giving you a demo of VM deployment in AWS Cloud using Terraform. And the best part is we'll be covering a lot of job opportunities and how you can get better pay in your Terraform job. So all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Terraform02 and click on book your free seat now. Select your event date when you're, av you're available. Moving ahead, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on Yes, Proceed Ahead. Now you'll be seeing this kind of link at the extreme right. Save this link, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.